Hi, Michael McKinnon, Security Advisor at AVG, here to talk to you about what happens if your Twitter account gets hacked and what you can do about it. You see, an awful lot of Twitter accounts have been compromised, and this can lead to some really nasty things, like your Twitter account being used to send spammy tweets to everyone, and also spreading this on to other users. But more importantly, your password to Twitter may certainly be compromised. And if this is a password you've used elsewhere, I'm sure you certainly don't want that to happen. So how does this type of thing actually occur? And it happens in one of two ways. The first one is the most likely scenario where you will receive a direct message within Twitter that contains a very enticing string of text and a shortened URL that leads you to a fake Twitter site asking you to log in. Maybe you've forgotten that you were already logged into Twitter, but you log in again anyway, and what you're actually doing is giving your password to the attacker. They then access your Twitter account, and the, the process goes on and on from there, and other people become infected. So it's more or less annoying. The second way it can happen is through insecure mobile app developers and websites where you have given them access through Twitter and Twitter creates what's known as an OAuth token, which is like a special password just for that site or app to access your Twitter account. And if these OAuth tokens are stolen and used, then your account can be accessed that way as well. So they're the two main ways that it actually happens. So what can you do if your account has been compromised? Well, the first and most immediate thing you should do is change your Twitter password. This is really important and especially make sure that you're using a password that you don't use anywhere else. Optionally, you may choose to take up Twitter's offer of SMS authentication, which means they will send you a text message with a six digit number that you have to use whenever you log into your Twitter account. And this adds an extra layer of protection for you. The next thing to do is to review those apps that you have given access to your Twitter account. You do this on the Twitter website under the settings and under apps and have a look at all of the apps you've given access to and then you can revoke access as required. This is great for some of those apps or sites you might have signed up with and started using but you really haven't used them more than once or twice. Let them go, remove their access and then that can't be a problem and that immediately invalidates those uh, OAuth tokens that potentially could be used by an attacker. The next thing is to visit the Twitter Help Center, which has some great tips and tricks on how to secure your Twitter account, and also has methods which, which you can report this happening to Twitter so they can secure Twitter as a whole as well, really important. And also you can help out others by reporting to them if you do receive direct messages from them and you know that this is the kind of thing that's happening as well. So it helps protect us all. For more great tips like these, please visit our website resources.avg.com.au. Thank you.